If you turn a football game on on TV, the announcers might be saying something like the quarterback is in the shotgun position or they're in a double back set and it can get kind of confusing as to what they're talking about. So in this video I want to take a look at the most common offensive formations and what they look like. The offensive team can either pass or run from any type of formation and all of them have 11 players on the field so I suppose none of them would be any more complicated than any other. Well, you could probably call the I formation the most basic offensive formation. The basic I formation consists of two wide receivers, two running backs, and one tight end. The running backs will line up with the fullback behind the quarterback and the halfback behind the fullback. The tight end is on the end of the offensive line and the wide receivers are out wide. So you can see how the quarterback and the running backs form this I. There are a few variations that you can make on the formation while keeping this I, like pulling one of the wide receivers in to be a second tight end, or the fullback can slightly shift to the left or the right side, and this would be called an offset I. One thing to note here is that the quarterback is what we call under center, which means he's directly behind the center. So whenever the center snaps the ball, he's essentially handing the ball to the quarterback. We'll come back to the alternative for being under center in a minute. But right now, let's look at another formation that's pretty similar to the I formation, and this is called the pro set formation, which is similar to the I formation, except that the running backs are positioned to either side of the quarterback in the backfield. And again, we can have a variation on this where the wide receivers are shifted or even line up one way and then go in motion before the play. The next formation is called the single back set, which just means that there is one running back. And so again, there can be a lot of variations that are used. Maybe a team has two tight ends or two wide receivers, or more commonly, one tight end and three wide receivers. And if there are three wide receivers, then this guy here, who isn't at the end of the line, and he isn't out wide, he is called the slot receiver, or he's said to be in the slot. The last formation that we'll look at with the quarterback under center is called the trips formation, which also uses three or sometimes four wide receivers. In the trips formation, three wide receivers will line up on the same side of the field. And possibly there will be a tight end over here too, so it can get pretty crowded and confusing for the defense as to how they're going to cover all of these receivers. Although, of course, the offense also runs the risk that these guys could run into each other and they could confuse themselves just the same. You also notice here that there is nobody lined up behind the quarterback, so we would say that this formation has an empty backfield. Now one common variation that we'll see with the trips formation is that the quarterback will not be under center. And if he's not under center, then he will be in the shotgun formation. So when you hear that a quarterback is in shotgun, it means that he is a few feet behind the center rather than right up behind him. So rather than handing the ball to the quarterback, the center will actually snap the ball back a few feet through the air to him. Here's a great picture here with Aaron Rodgers of the Packers receiving the snap from the center while he's in the shotgun position, rather than being right up behind him. And what this does is give the quarterback a little more reaction time. If the quarterback is under center, he will get the ball from the center and he'll take a few steps backward really quickly, which we would call dropping back. And so he could take a three-step or a five-step drop, depending on how quickly he wants to throw the ball. What moving into the shotgun essentially does is removes this need to drop back because the quarterback is, in essence, dropped back before the ball is even snapped. So lining up in the shotgun formation makes it easier to pass and is often used by teams on passing plays. But it doesn't have to be. So there can be a running back, as we saw in that photo, or two beside the quarterback while he's in shotgun. And so that after the quarterback gets the snap, he can just turn and hand the ball off to his running back. Now this isn't all of the formations that can be used, there are plenty more because remember the offense wants to throw the defense off any way they can. Teams will have their favorite formations that they use most often, but they're going to constantly be moving guys around and mixing things up one way or another. So hopefully that'll be enough of an intro to formations to know why the offense is always lining up differently before every play. So now the next time you watch a game, you can try to identify, is the quarterback in shotgun or is he under center? Are they using an I formation more than a single back set? Thanks.